What's up, everybody? This is Paul One, Style Miss Monster Squad, for part two on Break Advice, all right? Now recognize. Break Advice. We're going to teach concepts again. Again, I want you guys to get creative and make your own stuff. Cool? Let's go about it. So, okay, this concept's about entrances and exits, okay? Finding different ways to get in and out of one move. Okay, always. So let's start with a basic uh, baby freeze. If I asked you right now, show me a hundred ways to get out of your baby freeze. Most reaction in the workshops that I do, most people say, wow, a hundred ways, that's, that's a lot. And they're like, they think they can't do it, but you can do it. So what I tell them is, show me five. Five exits of how to get out of one move. So I tell them, get in your baby freeze, and find an exit. Doesn't have to be long, just a quick exit, all right? So let's say, for instance, you get in your baby freeze, you think of exit. What? Up. Okay, it's one exit. What you do is you get into your second position, again, into baby freeze, and you look for another exit. Then you look for another one. Let's have a little play, okay? So, baby freeze. Okay, exit two. Hmm. Exit three, okay. Exit four, all right. And you just keep going. Keep getting yourself into the position and finding different ways to get out of the position. Cool? Short sets. Again, Ken Swift likes to call it stick and move. You go in and out, okay? It's a, uh, when I was a kid, it was sort of a way, we didn't do long sets like today, like people last a very long time. It was kind of short, you go in and out. Sort of like in prison, you kind of, uh, Somebody has a shank, and uh, you shank somebody, and then the knife is gone really quickly, you know? So it's called stick and move. You stick and then you move, and that's what Kenny calls it. And it's true, stick and move. So you go in a circle, do a quick W, quick sweep, get up, sharp and smooth and out. So you just do this concept the same way. Get in your baby, find an exit, get out. Then after you have your five, you stand up, and you find different ways to get into your baby freeze, okay? So basically, basic corkscrew, boom, boom, mix it, what? With your exit, and then you have your basic small little set, okay? A small little set. Then you keep doing that, finding entrances, different entrances, different entrances to your baby, mix them with the exit that you created, and then you have five small sets. Then you go back in the lab. You do another five, then another five, another five, another five, another five, another five, another five. Next thing you know, you have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You have 100, 200 different ways to get in and out of your moves, out of one move. Then you begin to change the middle move, the baby. You begin to see how many shapes you can create in the baby to make it look different with your entrances and exits so everything will look different each time you go down, all right? And that will open up your mind to think for yourself and create for yourself, basically. And you'll look different than the rest, you know? Because in today's generation, with YouTube clips like this, people showing exact moves, it's making everybody look the same and not thinking for themselves. So for me, it's important to teach a concept and make you think for yourself and you become the freestyle and you become your own um, individual. Like Stuntman says from my crew, your own fingerprint. You got to add that into the game. And it's true. If you look at all the pioneers, everybody that I look up to from old to new, they all seem to have their own identity and their own way of moving. You have leaders and then you have followers. And many people are following those leaders and trying to look like them. In reality, leaders, um, a true leader doesn't want their student or the people that learn from them to look like them. 
you know? They want them to find their own individuality and then get better than their leader, you know, or somebody they look up to because it's like a kung fu movie, you know what I'm saying? Um, the master is trying to teach the student or the teacher's trying to teach the student moves, moves, um, technique, the student ain't listening, they're, they're messing around, playing around a lot, and the teachers always have to correct them, you know, and, and slap them in the head with a piece of wood or something. And then all of a sudden, a rival school comes and kills the teacher. And then the student gets, wants revenge, so he starts studying all the secret scrolls of the techniques, and then starts adding his own thing to it, and then learns, and then revenges the teacher's death. So the student becomes twice as better, or three times more better, than what the teacher was, and that's all the teacher really wanted. And that's what a true teacher should do, is make the, the, the people that are looking up to them or asking for advice, make them grow and become 10 times better than what the originals were. You understand what I mean? So take this concept and create as many things as you can. Remember, the concept is not just for baby freeze. It's for every single move that you got, okay? You find an entrance for any single different move. How many ways can you get on your back? How many ways can you get off your back? How many ways can you go into a leg sweep, out of a leg sweep? You just keep finding different ways. How many ways can you use this hand? You know, turn it here, one finger up. How many ways can you flip it? And use your elbow, use your shoulder. Just think of exits and entrances from one position, you know, and then you grow from there, all right? Think for yourself, you guys. The thing about carrying on tradition with breaking and out of respect to our historians that we learn from and the people that form the blueprint for us and put the stepping stones, I think when people say tradition, learn your tradition, learn your foundation, but part of that transition, what they say is um, adding something onto it and adding something to, uh, to, um, that you can help build a new foundation through it. You know what I'm saying? So that's all they want. Carrying on tradition is also originality. You know what I mean? So add on, add on, do your own thing with it, but still keep it in the contents of the approach of what this hip hop culture is all about. Keep the approach, the essence, then you can do anything else you want with it because as long as that approach and style is there, it, it, uh, it'll still be in its contents and it still respects our elders. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's really about. Take the concepts, you guys, enjoy. All right, peace. Break advice, thank you. Now recognize. Now, 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 now